I thought I'd throw two words out here that thread through this entire sequence of events uh, since, since I was a little guy, and the, the words are what if. So what this is all about is what's called the Northwest Passage. The standard way of going around South America is a two to three year voyage, but if someone could find the Northwest Passage, it could be inside of a year. And so in England, the Admiralty uh, got together and they said that we're going to put the most ambitious plan together and we're going to send two of our warships, we're going to convert our warships from the 1700s and we're going to re-outfit them for Arctic expedition and we're going to send them on the most ambitious voyage of all time. They left Beachy Island there in 1846. They sailed north for that polar sea. Sorry, <laughs> sailed south. Came through a place called Peel Sound. And what they were doing was actually, they were right on the right path of the Northwest Passage. If they could just get here and go this way, they've done it. But they were sailing into a trap. That's a satellite image of King William Island. This was probably the scene. Stuck in the ice, trying to drag the ships. Well, what they didn't know is that King William Island is, is not only uh, the whole area of the Arctic is desolate, but King William Island is even more desolate. These guys had shotguns. They didn't have rifles. They had the wrong clothing. They had the wrong guns. They had the wrong everything. So they were on a, pretty much of a doomed mission. They came there. They looked. And they saw the ships way, way out in the distance. And then when they were coming back, they were looking for ships. The ships were gone. And it's my belief and my theory that the ships were either remanned by a skeleton crew, no pun intended, or, or they drifted. But they're somewhere else. So where did I go? I went to Churchill, of course. Pretty cool stopping point. I mean, there's stuff all over the place from war, from the Cold War. Stuff is just left out. There are plane crashes, shipwrecks, crazy wildlife, beluga whales. This is in the Churchill River. I landed in the Churchill River. These beluga whales were coming straight at me. And I'm like, what in the heck am I doing? I'm holding on. I'm standing on the float, holding on. I'm like, oh, I, uh, this is it. So a polar bear in a zoo. This is the polar bear in the zoo. Cuddly animal, right? Not. Polar bear is a killer. You've got the black bear, kind of a pussycat. You've got the grizzly bear. That's a big step up. But the polar bear, we're on the food list. They come stalking. This happened while I was up there, 150 miles away in Arvia. This unfortunate guy was sleeping in a tent. And the polar bear came in the tent. You know, there's other pictures I didn't put on here. Uh, his face was pulled all the way down to his chin. He had no face. He, he had to hold his face up and crawl because he, he did kill the polar bear. When I go, I bring two weapons. I bring what's called the 460 Weatherby. It's a high-powered rifle. It's for elephant and Cape buffalo. Not taking any chance. When I, you know, you can tell when I do things, I, I go all the way. 